this was once a vivid home, before nature and the passage of time consumed it completely. Now, only the echoes of a former life remain. The life of Mr. Roger, who once lived there with his family and worked in a local bank in the town. He was a great fan of opera and classical music. After Mr. Roger passed, there was no inheritance left, inevitably leaving the property exposed to the elements for decades on end. Now, this former family home resembles the set of a post-apocalyptic horror movie after being blanketed by mold that has defaced its walls like a sloppy painting and with even mushrooms starting to grow on the ceiling it looks like a scene from The Last of Us or that the Upside Down really exists Today I will delve inside this house, deserted for 18 years, to document its shocking decline. Welcome back everybody. It's that time of the week again. I just made my way inside another home that's completely trapped in time and I'm in France today to show you a place that is truly mind-blowing. For me, it's the true definition of urban exploration. This home is so decades and has so much growth of mold and fungi inside that there are even mushrooms growing from the ceiling in one room. It belonged to Mr. Roger, his son Berhard and a woman, but I haven't found the name of the wife yet. But this place is gonna be truly fascinating. I'm really excited to show it to you today. I have found documents from 2018 already, which is not too long ago, but if you see the DK, you're not gonna believe how quickly this home has degraded in time. As always, I'm gonna wear a mask to protect my airways because it's really needed in this place. I hope it will not impair the audio of the video too much, but for all of that, I have a little microphone hanging here. And yeah, it's time to explore right now. Let's do it. So I'm firstly slowly gonna pan through this room. We're starting off in the main living room. It's just crazy to see how all the white paint of the ceiling has peeled and is covering all the furniture, the table, the ground and the carpet in the middle. Everything is covered in white powder of the paint. 
I'm just gonna start off over here in this corner. If we look down here, it seems like they did something with sewing, knitting, maybe even tailoring. Oh, we got a very dead plant over here as well. And then we have this basket over here that was definitely from a dog. So that learns us that they also had a pet. Wow, I just love this. Over here we have one of those typical records players that are often found in French homes. It's like a box that you could close. Eventually you could open it and there was still a record laying on top of there of Frank Sinatra, all alone. And then right next to it, we also have a lot of records still left behind. They were all still in there. A lot of books on top of here. In the middle we have some more dead plants. And we have this angel statue over here. Oh, there is even another record player in the corner. You can tell by the dust mark that they were used to hang some kind of painting over there, but that one has been replaced or even stolen. The wallpaper over here is all coming down as well. We have this massive mirror over here and the reflection, you can already see a musical beauty, the grand piano, which I'm gonna show in more detail in a bit. such a bizarre sight seeing this advanced state of decay in a home but despite that it's entirely crystallized in time it's crazy to see what time and mother nature does to a place we even still have some film reels over here but i cannot really see what's on there anymore We've got a newspaper. But also in a newspaper. Well, oh yeah, here. December 2017. And I found one document of 2018. So I think it was around the turn of 17, 18 that this home got abandoned ever since. And then we've got their fireplace over here. There is still some wood laying in front of it. And even in there is still some wood, never burned. On top of the marble fireplace mantle, we have this very faded picture of what once was their dog, their beloved pet that used to run around in his beloved home, their former house. For a difference, we're seeing a lot of dried and barren and dead plants in this place, instead of the colorful plastic and fake plants that we tend to often find in these homes. Well, this barometer has also definitely seen some better days. And then it's time to show you this magnificent grand piano. It's from Reggie, made in Paris. <laughs> well, the keys are still intact, but it's definitely very false. <laughs> 
There's also still some sheet music standing on top. We also can see the entire inside mechanism of this grand piano. It all still looks pretty intact. I'm really wondering, 2017, 2018 has done a lot of damage to this property. How was it possible that it was, that it degraded that quickly? I cannot even see what's on this picture anymore. And then over here, we have a very moldy portrait, a painting of what could be Mr. Roger, the man that used to live here. A radio. Over here we have an entire CD collection on these shelves. I would love to see a picture of this place and particularly this living room back in its heyday when it was still a vibrant place filled with life and laughter. Anyways, let's go through this door right now and continue our way. Oh my lord, guys, have a look at this presence of black mold. This place will probably never be livable again. We'll definitely take some experts to remove all of this, but probably is just going to get torn down. Well, this right in front of me is the main door. Still two curtains right next to it. Over here we can still see some puzzles that Mr. Roger used to do. And again, well, even September 2018 over there. So that means the end of 2018 was probably the last date that this home was occupied. And also have a look at the staircase. Still the carpet on top of it. Well, let's head into this room. It's the second time I see something with birds. So it seems that that was also a topic that kept them busy. Maybe Mr. Roger was a bird watcher. We make our way into the kitchen area right now. And also over here, everything has been left behind. Unbelievable, this was their storage. All their wines are still in the rack. I think there were also some food products left behind at some point. Even still a hat over here. Now I'm curious, in this place where everything seems left behind, would this fridge also be filled with a lot of Moldy food. Oh, Jax, yes. The answer is yes. Everything is left behind in this fridge. That's crazy. That means that there was really no inheritance. There are even still moldy eggs. The freezer. Well, no meat, luckily. There is budding. 
There's even lasagna. Drinks. Thank God it's actually not really smelly, strangely enough. Or maybe it's because I'm wearing a proper mask. There is a lot of stuff over here. Clock, this radio. Some little cars of places that they visited. That's empty. Some medicine inside there. Also more medicine, some towels. Oh, look at this. Chocolates and candies are even in there. In this tin. It's crazy to see how this home has degraded, but nonetheless, everything is just still inside here. Let's check if the crane still works. Oh my gosh, it does. Was really not expecting that. That is crazy. Water is still connected to this place. <laughs> wow. Still plays and everything in there. kitchen amenities where their cleaning products under the sink as usual the towel where they used to do the dishes with very rusty this lamp what does rust really be from only four years you can almost not imagine it that this place was still vivid four years ago Everything is truly decay. A lot of pans over here. Jikes, that looks disgusting. Also, if you look on top of here, there are just still all the ornaments and everything standing. picture over there and then this leads us to another room I think this was definitely their dining room have a look at it wow also radio standing there I think my favorite thing in this room is the lamp in the middle This little kind of spinning wheel in the middle. I've never seen it like that. It's really unique. Well, in the corner, a lot of stuff has been dumped. Mr. Sanier Salabert and Guest in 1973 for a performance in the Royal Opera House. It's 
of China where over here. We even still have a television. Some parts of a newspaper. Wow, just have a look at the way all the wallpaper is peeling. It's quite crazy. And even the parts of these drawers have just given up the battle against Mother Nature. We have a picture over here of a man sitting somewhere. Looks like it's in France. Maybe it's an old picture of Mr. Roger back in his younger days. Well, lastly, I believe there is one other little room on this floor. And that one is right over here in the corner. Seems that they were interested in opera and theater. Oh, jikes. Got some spider webs to dodge over here. This was definitely a little area where they used to do laundry. Also, all their tools are still hanging up here. There is even still laundry left to dry. Some socks and everything. Crazy. Where does this lead us to? <laughs> Strange place for it, but I believe there is a toilet. Yep. Let's see if there is a date on here. 1991. Well, that only learns us that the home was occupied in 1991. But I've definitely found some more recent dates. Now let's head back up again. Okay. So we're back in a very moldy hallway and it's time to walk up these stairs <laughs> it's also crazy there are still portraits and frames hanging on the wall here the mold has also just taken over on them same goes for the slums over here Stairs. Take a look at the stairwell over here. This is such a crazy place. Well, let's just go into, in my opinion, the most incredible bedroom in this place. Have a look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, this place has taken over. Nature has definitely conquered the battle here. If I zoom in to the ceiling, you can probably see some growth of mushrooms or anything like that that I was telling you about. They're all growing here. It's crazy. <laughs> My gosh. Oh my, I'm not even gonna touch it. It's completely sticked on that night shelf. The pillows are entirely eaten by insects and all the feathers have been coming out as a consequence. Same goes for the sheets over here. 
it's crazy to see this. This can never be only four years. It has to be way longer. Maybe four years ago was the last date somebody came to check over here and look, have a look here. I don't know. What a room, guys. What a room. All these colors of mold. 20 shades of mold. All the clothes are also just still in there. Definitely some older person's clothes, if you ask me. All right, then let's head to the next room. Let's first just go into this direction. It's a little bit messy in here. But we also still got a lot of books. The growth of mold is less advanced over here in this part. Oh, look at that. Got a picture over here. Could be Mr. Roger room frame. Looks like it's somewhere near a store or a restaurant. This was a little office, I think. Also with all the books. But most clearly, the office desk. Typewriter over here. Still a lot of documents and confidential paperwork and receipts. And then attached to here is another bedroom. And compared to the other rooms, this room is actually not really damaged that much by the elements and is still in quite a proper state. The decay is very minimal compared to what we've seen previously. And there are some letters over here. I'm just gonna show this one. It's actually a doctor's invoice of Mr. Roger. He was born in the year 1915. So he could have definitely passed away around the year we expect him to have passed away. This is from Eye Doctor. So then we've seen one side of this floor, but we've not explored the other side yet. Wow, this is also so moldy. Cannot even open it up anymore because the wood is probably expanded because of the humid conditions in here. Painting, a little frame. Oh, there are a lot of clothes on the ground here. Cannot really walk in there anymore, but I can show it to you from a distance. This used to be the bathroom in this home. Pink sinks, a bidet, a bathtub over there. Even still their showering products are standing there. And this leads us to another bedroom, which is also completely decayed.
Wow. I've almost never seen so much mold in one abandoned home. Just take a look at that. And again, we have so many clothes and even bed linen and everything in this wardrobe. Still a glove over here. Now lastly, we have one last thing to explore in this place and that's the attic and i believe there are still quite some things to find on the top floor so let's just take a look there all right the little curtain is covering the way to the final level a lot of magazines in here. There is a lot of stuff scattered around. Let's just take a look between there. Old family photo. Oh, even old, old photo album over here. From 1922, 1923. This was definitely from the parents of Mr. Roger, the generation before him. He could probably be in frame. Maybe this is him over here, the little boy, since he was born in 1915. He would have been 10 years old in these pictures. Some more pictures over here. It said that all this family history is just going to waste here. And you really wonder why. I think there is just no one to follow up. Because why else wise would you let this place completely decay in time? Still some paintings over here. We also still got a television in this box. Clothes are left in here as well. A lot of records in these boxes. You can see they're also all still in there. Oh, even a photo camera over here. Loloca is the brand name. Well, I think with that having seen, we explored everything in this truly incredible home that was entirely decayed in time. I'm gonna put off my mask for it. I have to say for me, such places are truly fascinating. So decayed, but nevertheless, everything in there and just everything is going down in the forces of mother nature. I hope you enjoyed the journey today with me together. And if you did as always, all I want to ask you for is smash the thumbs up button, 
subscribe to the channel down below for free and also leave a nice comment down below and then as always i want to wish you much love peace and blessings from friends and i will see you on the next adventure peace out